What's up, everybody? Philip Sadiq, The Philip Sadiq Show. This is going to be probably another real quick video because as you may or may not know, California, we're on a flex alert. Rolling blackouts. The blackouts could hit, hit anywhere at any time. So I'm going to see if I can do this really quick because I want to get this content up and I don't want to be hit with, you know, shutting down. Everything shuts down. I, you know, I'm going to maybe, maybe I'll talk about this on my other segment, you know, opinions and commentary, because this is just ridiculous. Anyway, House of the Dragon. If you guys aren't watching that, you really should watch it. The writing is tight. <coughs> Excuse me, the characters are great. What is the sea, the sea snake, Damien, and then you have, oh gosh, I, I, I'm, I don't have any written notes, but I'm telling you, watch House of the Dragon. First episode, we get to see the dagger that, um, oh gosh. A anyway, it it's excellent. You should really give it a give it a chance. Give it a watch. I'm telling you, like Game of Thrones, this is the prequel to that. I think it's 200 years before Game of Thrones. So this is well done. The camera shots, the angle, the acting especially. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm doing them a disservice, not remembering their names, but they all do a damn fine job. Number two, actors. I love action films. I'm sure you do too. And most actors now, they're trying to do their own stunts now. And for me, that makes it more believable. Some of them, you know, you're not going to see them do, they won't do all their stunts, but they'll do some just to feel what it's like, you know, getting hit, punched, fall off something. Thank goodness for stunt doubles. But the ones who you know, try to do their own thing, there's one cat. I mean, regardless of his beliefs, what have you, he is just still putting it in. I just saw Top Gun Maverick, and I just it just brought all those old feelings from the original Top Gun, which we saw at the movie theater. This one, I didn't get a chance to go to the theater. I bought it. I'm watching on 4K, and it was not disappointing. You know, the other man, he uh, you know, had to maybe shed a couple of tears in some of the scenes, but they do a damn good. I'm getting all hot now. They do a damn good job of connecting it back from the first one to this one, Top Gun Maverick. So he's filming Mission Impossible. And Tom, I know you probably don't know who I am or anything, but Paula Patton did a damn good job in the Mission Impossible series, man. I wish you could really call her back. Do a call back with her. I know the new Mission Impossible probably have it set, but if you just work a little bit, just bring Paula Patton back. Now, I mentioned about stunts, and I definitely mentioned him because I have some footage that it was just freaking unbelievable. I'm grinning ear to ear to see this cat. He puts it down. He does it. He, he does more than this. He does it. So I'm going to show you the footage and then get your guys' opinion afterwards in the comments section. Hi, everyone. Wish I could be there with you. I'm sorry for all the extra noise. As you can see, we are building the latest installment of Mission Impossible. And right now, we're over gorgeous Spider Canyon and sunny South Africa. Biplane. And we're making this film for the big screen for audiences to see in your wonderful theaters. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you, Tom. Hey, would you? Chris McCoy. Hi, everybody. Hey, uh, listen, I hate to interrupt, but, uh, we really got to roll. We are losing the light and low on fuel. Oh, oh yeah, we got to roll, huh? Oh, that's, that's, that's not good. I'm sorry. We gotta go. Uh, wait, did you tell them about the thing? Oh, yeah, the thing. Oh, you know, we have, uh, we have a first look at the Mission Impossible trailer and a very special screening of Top Gun Robert in its entirety. So please enjoy. And hey, let's all have a great summer. And action. We'll see you at the movies. <laughs> <laughs> a freaking biplane. Woo. 
Tom Cruise, here's to you, my friend. Now, the final story, I think you guys may not know, but this little kid, his name is Tariq, little black kid, handsome. Not more handsome than my nephew, my son, but anyway. He's just blowing up the internet. He's eating corn. He's being interviewed about corn. Now I hear they're, they're flying him everywhere. He's getting keys to city. Make sure he's compensated. But this little kid, Tariq, this is for you. I love corn too. Only thing is, no one paid me to do it. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is some good corn, you guys. Man, this is some good corn. Enough of that. Let me finish this corn, but like I said, House of the Dragon, watch that, you guys. You will not be disappointed. What can we say about Tom Cruise? One of a kind. <laughs> Homie, <laughs> buy planes. <laughs> Did you see? Oh my goodness. And Tariq, little guy at the corn, make sure they compensate you. Put a little bit in the bank, man, for your college or you're starting a business. Watch out for them folks who try to get your money, little brother. <laughs> I'm signing out. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the video. And I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get back to this corn.